Hi, it's Glory with Lone Star Homeschool Mama. Today, I'm going to give you guys my opinion of Matthew C. Before I go into Matthew C, let me just say that we first started off using teaching textbooks. We really enjoyed it. My kids liked it. Um, the only problem that I can honestly say, well, there's two things. Um, the first one is that I felt like the program, and this is, it could be a pro for some people, was completely hands-on. It was um, more of the student and very minimal teacher. So I'm kind of a control freak. When it, boom, boom, boom. I'm kind of a control freak when it comes to teaching. Okay, so I'm that kind of person who likes to know the fine details of what my child is learning. So if my son or sons were having a problem with um, a certain lesson, I kind of wanted to know exactly what the problem was. and. I can't say it necessarily taught me how to better help them if they were having that problem. Um, so I guess the first thing was I felt like it was completely teacher hands off kind of deal. Okay. Um, the second thing is that when my kids were having problems with it, I could not do anything other than delete their missed problems and then have them go back and redo them. So in other words, there wasn't a um, big um, math bank, I guess, of problems that they could go and practice a skill that they um, were weak on or were having problems with. So that's where I felt like if my kids need more practice, I need to find something that offers more practice. So remember that because that is the key thing to Matthew C. If you're not aware, the teaching textbook, student book, is the same exact thing as the CDs. So some people do both, some people just do one. We were just um, the CD people kind of thing. I will probably say maybe that's the two top reasons. Um, so the two main reasons being I felt like I wasn't involved enough. And the second reason was that um, there weren't enough practice problems for them um, when they needed them. Um, okay. So now to Matthew C. We started Matthew C. in October of 2017. So obviously we had started with teaching textbook um, and then just moved away from that because I felt like it wasn't working out so well. At this time, I will probably say that we are sticking to Matthew C. Okay, so I saw Matthew C. And I will just say that the YouTube videos out there um, gave me a good overview of what to expect. But there were a lot of things that I learned um, as we actually did the program. Um, so when we took the placement test for Matthew C, um, my eighth grader uh, scored at the Epsilon level, which is fractions. And my fifth grader scored at the multiplication or gamma. Um, so first of all, it's kind of hard to wrap your mind around the fact that your son so I will say it is kind of hard to wrap your mind around the fact that oh my gosh my eighth grader is on fractions and my fifth grader is on multiplication but um, I really had to give the program a fair chance so <clears throat> I will say that we have completed Epsilon. Um, my older son is now on Zeta, which is decimals and percentages. Um, and my fifth grader is doing division, or um, they call it Delta. Now I will say um, that the 
Matthew C. starts off with a DVD. And what you're supposed to do is the teacher is supposed to watch the DVD and teach it to their child. Um, and I guess you can adjust it to the way you want to do it. Um, we've kind of been playing around with it. So I would watch the lesson. So I would watch the lesson and say, oh my gosh, this is easy. My son can do it. Um, and I would tell him, here, just watch this video and start on this lesson. So for those who are not familiar with Matthew C., it, every lesson has um, it lettered from, let's just say, 1, A through G. Um, usually, A, B, and C um, start off with focusing only on what you are learning in that lesson. And then as you go on to D, E, and F, you um, incorporate things that you have learned in past lessons or in other books. So, um, I will say that in the beginning it was a little um, tricky to get used to it. It was a little tricky to get used to because my son, who was doing gamma, would be given um, U.S. measurements like quarts and um, gallons and things like that, and trying to know the conversion. So, not to say that he had never heard of it. Um, it's just that he wasn't familiar with it. So it's kind of like he would be doing um, the gamma, which is multiplication, and then he would get to um, lesson D, and he would be like, okay, mom, they want me to convert this to this, um, and I don't know how to do that. So that's where we would be like, okay, are you sure? Did he not teach that? And so that took a little bit of realizing, okay, A, B, and C works on primarily the lesson um, information and then D through F um, has extra stuff along with what you learned just to kind of keep it fresh um, but um, it was okay that's something we went through um, we looked it up you know it just really wasn't a big deal it was things that he had to learn anyways so that was fine we were completely fine with it um, I'm trying to think if we had any major hiccups for the program and not so much. Um, but I will say that they do have a Facebook page and they do go live sometimes and um, they do allow you to ask questions which is awesome. And probably this last um, Facebook live they did gave me great insight to what I should do with my older son. So my older son, who is entering the ninth grade, um, should be taking algebra when he starts. However, he's going to be doing or finishing up pre-algebra and getting into algebra, and that's completely fine. Um, and that was a little concerning for me. Um, should I make him do every lesson? A through G, um, or should I just skip around? What should I do? Baby will always make an appearance because he's a baby <laughs> and he can't be away from mommy too long. Okay, um, so, um, yeah, so I was kind of like struggling, like, should I push him to do three worksheets a day just so we can get through it? <laughs> um, should, should we start doing worksheets on the weekends? Should I make him do two lessons a day, three lessons a day? Should I make him do so many worksheets until he just can't take it anymore? I just, I just did not know what to do. How, oh mother, he's grabbing everything on this table. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He is definitely seven months old because he's grabbing everything on my table. Um, Mr. Demi actually came on and I was able to ask him, hey, what do you think I should do? Um, and his recommendation was, if your son has that goal of starting at algebra for ninth grade, then the ball's in his court and he needs to take charge of that. He gets it and it's an easy lesson then you don't have to do A through G. 
just do what you think he needs to do. You are the best judge of what your child needs. So that's kind of what I've been doing. <laughs> that really helped out because um, that's kind of what we were doing. So with my older son, and I guess my younger one as well, um, if he was doing a lesson that was relatively simple, he would always start off with A, and I at a minimum would make sure and make sure that he didn't get lucky and make him do B. And then after B, we would just go ahead and jump to D. Um, like I said, D has the current information and past information. Um, if he did good on D, then depending on how well he did, if he didn't miss any, I would say, okay, go ahead and take the test. If he missed enough to get him an 80, I would make him do the problems that he got wrong um, again. And then on the next page, which would be E, I would make him do those sort of problems. So if they were word problems, he would work on those word problems. There are, um, I would say, 32 lessons. So really, you can go as fast or as slow as you want to. Um, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and try to show you some of the, um, what do they call them? Some of the supplemental material they offer or some of the extra resources that are available to you. Okay, hey guys, so this is what I wanted to show you all. On Matthew C, um, here are parent resources and worksheets. If your child still needs more practice, um, these are the things that are available. Um, and these are Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, and Pre-Algebra. Okay. So let's go ahead and say we're going to do delta, and I want my son to work on problems starting with lesson 18, which is division with double digit factors, and I wanted to end with dividing three digits by one digit um, fraction remainders. Um, and here it allows you to make the worksheet, the answer key, or both. Um, I'll go ahead and click both. Um, however, when I do this, it never seems to print out uh, the answers for some reason. Maybe it's just me. Um, so I usually go to make a worksheet, print the page out, and then I go ahead and make my answer key and um, check his answers. Like I said, there's plenty of opportunity um, with Matthew C because the lessons go from A through G. Um, however, if you need more things, you can go ahead and do that. Um, come to this site. Um, here as well, they let you um, kind of play with it and see um, how many problems you want to actually give your child. So here I just wanted two rows of five problems each and then the answer key. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you all was the digital pack. Um, and when you do go ahead and buy this, you will see that um, they have Matthew C and Spelling UC, I believe, as the options. Um, but this one's for Matthew C. You can select a level. Here they have all these available. And the cool thing is, like I said, my son um, is finishing up Zeta. Um, so I can go ahead and click on any lesson that he's having trouble with. Let's just say, uh, mm, decimals as rational numbers. And I can actually go ahead and play the lesson. So let's go ahead and try the lesson here. Now, before we were changing decimals to percents. And now we're going to change decimals to fractions. Okay. And over here, they should, this is not showing up. Um, let 
we should have the teacher workbook right here. Um, but for some reason, it is not working. And here are the other resources available. I'm sorry this video was a little chaotic. Like I said, I have my little ones here. I'm about to put them down for a nap. Um, but if you managed to stay through the whole video, congratulations and thank you very much. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.